you have fought valiantly. There's something about part one that's quite ominous and quite haunting and scary. Part one I always felt was the intimate half of our concluding film. And part two is much more um, operatic and epic. I never wanted any of you to die for me. These films are the final conclusion. The battle for Hogwarts, the battle between good and evil. Oh, come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Together! Part one, the Ministry has fallen under the control of Voldemort and the Death Eaters. Harry is sort of the holy grail for Voldemort, and so they have to get him out as fast as humanly possible. Go! <laughs> Voldemort has split his soul into seven pieces to make him immortal. And he's hidden these seven pieces of his soul in different objects. Harry, Hermione and Ron have to find the Horcruxes and destroy them one by one. It's quite a daunting task. The doctor! Trying to do all of this without anyone recognizing them. Because Harry is obviously the most wanted man. Harry, and Ron, Hermione are on the run. Kind of out of the safety of Hogwarts. We could get attacked at any moment and nowhere is safe. Yes! Like any good thriller, it's twists and turns and intrigue. Dumbledore leaves Hermione a children's book, which is sort of puzzling. It only comes to have real meaning at the end of part one. When she sees a symbol in it, she doesn't really recognise the Deathly Hallows. It's the mark again. They go to the only person they know who has any contact with it, Xenophilius Lovegood. When he explains that it's part of wizard mythology. Well, it's the sign of the Deathly Hallows, of course. The Elder Wand. The resurrection storm. The cloak of invisibility. Together, they make one master of death. We end up in the middle of a firefight. We get captured and taken to Malfoy Manor. Dobby basically helps us to escape. Help me! He is really quite devastated. But he feels more than ever the need to challenge and to defeat the Dark Lord. I can destroy him once and for all. You see in Harry's eyes that he can't stop. He has to see it through. He's the only person left who can successfully carry out that job. You can't give yourself up to him. It is coming to an end now. Something's got to give. Harry Potter, the boy who lived, come to die.